What's up, YouTube? Hyena6 uh, with a, another episode for you. It's been a bit, but we're trying to get back on track with uh, getting videos up more often. And we're doing a pre-grade video of our uh, SGC order that we're sent, we've sent out. So when we play this, uh, we play this, we'll post this video when the order is on its way back. So it plays a little bit closer to when we do our SGC reveal video. Uh, if you're looking to let us help uh, you expand your PC, you can check us out on eBay. Hyena6, all one word, all lowercase. You can check us out on the gram. Hyena score under, hyena underscore six. And you can look at us, our cards, on my card post at hyena6. Put up some uh, Puka cards that we have. We were able to uh, acquire quite a few uh, Puka rookie, rookie cards. Some of the nice parallels, a couple discos, red, white, and blue, and a a pink refractor over there. So definitely Puka is poised to be the number one receiver in LA uh, this year. So uh, scoop him up while you can, while he's the hot receiver before uh, prices go up too much before he hits the, right before he hits the field. So grab him now, stock up, load up, uh, potential Hall of Fame receiver there. Um, that being said, <coughs> oh, excuse me. We have been keeping track of Megatron's, of uh, the of her grading, and we kind of figured out a way to do it so it would be like a stat line in a baseball game. So here's here's the criteria, and we've kept track of it the past three, the past three gradings when she when she officially started like saying I'm I'm calling grades. I think we've only done two officially with no, the, the new stats. No, three. Have we? Yes. Okay. I, I tracked all three. Went back. Oh, oh, you did? Yes. Okay, I did. So, um, so all three, and then what we're doing is, so here's how we treat it. We're, we're giving, uh, we're tallying at-bats, and then when the grades are correct, you get a hit. Um, so if the grade that she calls, if she calls a grade and the grade ends up being uh, higher, so she makes a call and the grade up ends up being higher than what she called, that's a base hit. We'll call it that, a base hit. If she calls a, a lesser grade than, and it comes back a 10, well, she calls the grade exactly under 10. So let's say she calls it a nine and comes back a nine, that gives her an RBI. So if she was to call uh, a nine and it comes back a 10, well, that's just a hit. Hopefully that makes sense. If she calls a grade and it comes back lower, so if she calls a 10 and it comes back a nine, well, that'll be a strikeout, that's a K. And then she calls a 10 and comes back a 10, that's gonna be a home run. So we're giving her grades, we're, we're giving her credit for at-bats with hits, batting average, home runs, RBIs, and Ks. So where does she stand right now after three uh, official um, episodes? So a total of 30 at-bats with 21 hits, batting, a stellar 700, uh, three home runs, six RBIs, but 10 Ks. Kind of a weird stat line, but it's actually, I think it's pretty good for uh, just learning how to grade. So how do you feel about your stat line there? Um, I feel, I feel good. It's just, I want to be more on point. <laughs> I want more home runs. More home runs. <laughs> we all want more home runs. <laughs> 100% more home runs. So... What do you guys think about that? Go ahead and comment down below. What do you guys think about uh, keeping a stat line? Is that something that you're in favor of? You want to see? Is that an interesting thing to track? So you can kind of you can kind of keep track how Megatron's doing on the grades. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. But go ahead and comment below. And while you're commenting, commenting, be sure you hit a like, subscribe, and share it with a friend. So into our order that we sent off, and um, by the time you see this, it will have been sent off. So we're gonna try to, uh, we're submitting some Ellie's, some J-Doms, and some Paul Skeens. And then a couple for a, one for a customer, one for a friend, and a couple of PC cards. So um, let's get into it. The first card that we're submitting is going to be uh, the Ellie Bowman here, the Bowman Top 100, number six, Ellie. Nice chrome card from Bowman, um, 2023. That's what I have on here. Number six. 
And what was the grade you gave it? Um, I'm giving it a 9.5. The front I saw um, on the right side, there's a couple of scratches. They're not terribly bad, but they're there. Um, and again, I use a light and I move the card around, bounce the light off it. So sometimes you can't see them if you're just looking at them in normal light. But you can see it when you bounce it. Can you kind of see it in there? It's hard to tell because okay. sometimes the... Um... It does hide it. The semi-rigid has its own scratches. Yes. So. You are correct. Um, and then bottom right corner is a little soft. And when I'm seeing bottom right, I'm always going like this. So oh. bottom right would be right there. Okay. Anything else on that one? That's it. And then you said 9.5 on that? I did say 9.5. Okay. Next, we've got an Ellie. Uh, 2024 Tops. Series one, and what'd you give this grade? I said that one's a nine five or better, and good lord, I am thinking about last one coming back, but that <laughs> one, that was, that got a nine, right? And I called it a 10? I think so, yeah. So um, I'm wondering if this is the actual 10 that I saw and I mixed up, because <laughs> hmm. uh, we have actually quite a few of these, and I made little stacks, and I'm wondering if I grabbed the wrong card and sent it in for grading on that. Um, Cause there's just no way I would have missed the crease. Cause I, you know, okay. saw it pretty much right away. So, so what are you I seeing? I would like to look at that one one more time. What, just you, in case. what are you seeing on this one? Um, that one front slightly OC high. <clears throat> the right upper corner has a white dot. Do you see a white dot on that one? Not particularly. Okay. I'm, like I said, before we send that one in, I'd like to double check it because we did have so many <laughs> Um, just in case. Um, the back has slightly OC high. Yeah, I guess I see that a little bit pulled out. Yeah, high. and okay. typically they're not on the back. They haven't been um, taking away anything for if they're slightly high mm -hmm. or if they're just slightly OC somewhere. So you put this one 9.5 plus, I right? said 9.5 plus. Okay. But again, I want to look at that one just to make sure I didn't grab the wrong one from the stack. All right, so I've heard people talk about that SGC might be tightening up the grades a little bit. They feel that they're starting to mirror PSA more. We, you know that SGC was bought by collectors who owns PSA, so maybe they're coming in line. Don't know, but uh, still love the way SGC looks. So next one, we're going with some of the alien J-Dom, Jason Dominguez. And would you put this one at? Um, I give this one a 10. Ooh, shot call ten, going for the uh, going for the fences. But I will say on this one, it is a learning um, because of the design. I don't know if it is meant to be like the left and bottom supposed to be thicker than the top and right corners. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You see how it's a curved on right. the inside. So that's the only thing I'm a little nervous about. So if it comes back lower. I'm wondering if that's the reason. All right, this is Bowman's uh, 2024 AI design. Yeah. And I just don't know if all edges are supposed to be the same on the front, you know, the okay. borders. Any other any other things other than that for the card? Um, let's see, front, let's see how I write. Nope, just the OC things, the questionable OCs. All Otherwise, right. I thought the card looked great. So the first home run swing is in play. Another JDOM, uh, 2024 Tops Series 1. What'd you grade this one overall? I said 9.5. 9.5 on this one. Um, I said front was OC high and I edge see that. white dot. Which edge? Uh, doesn't see a top edge. You don't know if it's Oh, like, top along the yeah, edge. along the edge. If there's um, a little bit of white. I don't really catch anything. And then the back is OC left. Yeah, it's pulled a little bit that way. A little light over here, heavy over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you're calling this one 9.5 as well? Yeah, I, I am. Scared to swing for the fences. Uh, All right. I just think that OC might be a little bit thicker. Next, we're going with a Sauce Gardener card. Uh, outstanding Rookie of the Year for the Jets. Great DB, and this one is numbered out of 300 rated rookie optic. 
What did you grade this car at? I gave it a 10. Ooh, swinging big for the refractor it is card. Really pretty. Wave, <laughs> wave uh, prism here. It's waving at me. So you're going for 10, huh? I am. All right. I didn't see any issues. Um, again, on these type of cards, I it's hard because I don't know what the border is supposed to be. So. I mean, it could be off-center, but the way, you know, the pattern design on it might be made that way. All right. So, fingers crossed. Fingers Give me a home run. <laughs> Going for the 10, swinging for the yard. This is nice. I like that 200 out of 300. That's very, like, very you, satisfying. You like that, that, don't you? Very mm -hmm. optically pleasing. Moving on, we're going with the Paul I skeins in my pants. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Phenom rookie pitcher for the Pirates. This is his Bowman. I believe it's his 2024 20, Bowman. Uh, that's what I have. And what do you got hanging on this? Great. Um, I said nine or better. Nine or better. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking we're losing? Um, front, I just, uh, on your notes, it just shows uh, front surface issue. And Hard then to tell. center low. Pulled low a little bit, you think? Yes. Hard to tell what where do you gauge by? Do you gauge by the shadow or the border? That's it's that's tricky. Well, I don't know if it's a front surface issue, center a little lower than center. Oh, the surface issue yeah. itself? Um, it might be a little bit, you know, maybe there's a D. Yeah, hard to tell again with the uh, yeah. one uh, with the semi rigid. What else? Anything else? Um rough bottom edge. Oh wait, no, I'm looking at the other one. Mm. I just have slightly OC left on the front. I could see that. A little bit thicker on the right. And, and you can see the same on the back, probably. Well, it's tough because... Because yeah, I'm looking at this border and this right. border. No, I get you now. And then this and trying this. Trying to discount the shadowing, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's how I'm looking at it. I mean, I could right. be wrong. Again, so, learning. <laughs> so you, you skeins them at what again? Um, I said nine. Five. Nine five with that skein. Right? No, nine plus, sorry. Nine plus. All right. A second skeins in my pants. Oh boy. This is the AI Bowman 2024 AI insert. Uh silver refractor there. And what'd you grade this guy at? So I said nine five. Nine five, all right. And to me on the front, the border, front low border flaw. So there's a little bit of a flaw. Somewhere low? Yeah, front. It's at the low border, so I'm assuming the lower okay. border. It's oh, I, be... I think I see it right there. Okay. Um, so a little, I think it's like a little scratch. And I put back slightly I see low and rough bottom edge in one spot. I guess you could see that. See, the there. front on this card looks completely like all edges are the same, mm -hmm. or the border is all the same and I can't remember, my memory is horrible <laughs> and I can't remember, see, so it does look thicker on the other card. On yeah, the I guess if we did line it up, yeah. So again, Looks it's, like the card is wider a little bit. Interesting. So again, it, it's kind of a learning thing. And then, so you got this guy at the 9.5 though? I do have it at 9.5. All right, 9.5, Paul, I skeins in my pants. <sighs> Switching back to the Ellie's. We've got the Ellie's uh rated prospect card here is this uh 2022 that's what i show 2022 rated prospect card you've got the uh the parallel there the uh parallel prism don rust rated prospect what did you grade this overall um i said nine five or better all right nine, but five there's or i have a lot of little things so it could be a possible nine well what is like just what's the overall consensus of the little things combined um it's the slightly oc stuff like if okay so let's just say there's three slightly oc issues mm -hmm. do you, are they going to take a full point off of that or do they just ignore it completely right and not take anything off so i don't know if they look at the little things like do all those add up and that maybe four little things take away a point. I don't know. Gotcha. Uh, if that makes sense. So, like I said, I see the front is slightly OC right. Mm -hmm. It's also slightly OC high. Okay. Um, the back 
looks like also slightly OC right. Okay. And then the right bottom corner looks a little pinched. Okay. Probably hard to see through this. Yes. So, and that's it. And, and I that was, was just thinking for the pinch, it might take yeah, off. So you had to set a nine? Um, I said nine five. Nine five. And fingers crossed that the little things don't add up. Gotcha. I don't know how that works. <laughs> All right, we've got the, uh, I believe this is the checklist for the Reds, yes. the 2024 checklist, but it's got Ellie on it. So this is con this usually gets considered an Ellie card or who is ever prominent on the card, it's considered another one of their cards. And what did you grade this one at? I said a nine or better. Nine plus. And the front, both top corners have a dot. I don't know. I won't be able to see a dot on the, the white side. I wonder if I made a mistake and did it that way. Maybe. I could have. That would be the best option. I don't really see the dots. But okay. you might have but they were very tiny. Okay. Like tiny. Well, shh, don't let SGC hear you. I, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> it might be even like, you know how sometimes when you cut something, it's got like the little extra yeah, fur. fur kind yeah. of hanging. That's what I call it. Um, hanging. It could be just that that I see. And OC right on the front. Yes. Do you see how the white side is thinner than yeah. the border with the red? A little bit, yeah. So it's pulled to the right. And then the back right edge has a scratch. And it's in the white. So it could be very light and not be seen. Okay, that would be good. <laughs> and so this was an overall grade of what again? I said a nine or better. Nine or better. Uh, this is a Scott Rowland card that we're sending in to, uh, for uh, Mike from work. So he's confident. He just takes whatever grade he's get. He's been doing well. He's been pulling down a lot of 10s from sending in with us. Pretty impressive. This one we're doing for a customer, Ken Griffey Jr. I believe it's the 1990 Griffey. And what did you give this? Um, we're calling it an eight or better. Um, again, these older cards, they grade super, super hard. Um, this one, I just found a few surface scratches um, here and there on the front and back. Um, otherwise, it looks really centered. The corners look really good. Um, it's just, there's only a couple on the front. The back has like, um, like a spot or two. And then it just looks like you know how the cardboard sometimes isn't completely 100% flat and it's got yeah. little divots in the mm, print? Yeah. But I've noticed they haven't been really taking off for that. Um, well, I think sometimes the graders know the sets very well. And if it's a commonality in the set that can't, that can't be avoided, I think sometimes they overlook they, that. Okay. So if that's the case, then, you know, it could be better. But at, I'm hoping at the least, the lowest would be an eight. Man, I remember when these upper deck cards came out. I thought it was the coolest thing that they actually put another picture on the back. I was like, that is really cool. And then I was, I was like, well, how are they going to put all everybody's stats in a picture? But upper deck really had a lot of the market when they first came out. It's very innovative, good looking cards when they first came out. And you put this at. We're going eight or better, right? Yeah, I am. All right, eight or better on Fingers that. crossed. All right, we're sending in the oldest card that we own. And uh, interesting thing about this Harmon Killebrew card is we picked it up on an online auction. The, the auction had a, a good amount of stuff and we paid about 200 bucks. But when we when I, I made the bid on the auction specifically for this card, because I saw this at Raw, even in, in, a, in well, Warren State, it was about a hundred and forty to hundred and fifty dollar card. So we're looking to send it off to SGC and see what we can get. And what what did you grade? Did you get it? Um, I'm gonna. I mean, I really don't know where to even start <laughs> <laughs> um, because this is the oldest card we're sending in. I mean, I could list quite a few issues that there are. I mean, all the corners are soft. Um, there appears to be some water damage, although you don't see the lines, you know, from water, but there's kind of like bends, like waves yeah. in it, like there was water. But again, I don't see water stains. Um, I mean, the picture itself, the back looks spectacular. Um, the front looks really well. Um, again, I just don't know how they will um, ding it. 
but one of the corners there's a pretty good crease in it yeah this on top is, of it this one's really damaged up here yeah that's probably the one i'm thinking of yeah yeah uh yeah the right upper corner where the yeah. w is yeah mm -hmm. um so there's all kinds of issues with this card i'm giving it a two and actually, if it does grade a two, we're probably, you know, you start looking at a, a pretty good increased value on a card at this age, 1955 tops. Uh, very popular year to get graded. And if you have, now granted, um, this is nowhere close to a seven. I did see an SJC seven selling for $900. I know we're not, and nowhere close to seven. If we get a two, I think we're being, be in good shape. But the two is called on our first vintage card, 1955. Harmon Killebrew card. Right and on. I feel like that's just a good stab in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> we got to start somewhere. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, now we come to the PC cards. Um, Megatron takes a look at them. Not overly concerned about the grade, in, really, but because they're forever cards, but we do still like to get tens. So here we got a Buster Posey patch. And where'd you grade this one? I say eight and a half to a nine. And this one's actually number two, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's numbered, it's out of 15, numbered out of 18, or six, is that 16 or 18? I believe it was an 18. 18, I, yeah. I'm going off of memory, though. And what would you grade this at? I said 8.5 to a 9. 8.5 to 9. Now, we all know thick cards are hard because thick cards have 8 corners, not just 4 corners. So, where were you kind of thinking this could be better at? Well, on the front, all 4 um, corners look like, I don't know, like the coloring is a little off, like it's worn. Uh, but I do see that like on the jersey in the armpit area, there's like actual color missing. Oh yeah. Um, so it's a good scratch. A little chipping there, huh? Um, so I did see quite a few different little spots where the paint or the surface was scratched. Like even down here uh, by the name, there's a couple little spots um, where it's lost color. The back looks great. I didn't really see anything wrong with the back. It looks well centered. Um, no scratches, nothing on the back. It's just on the front. Now, why would they mess up the front? <laughs> just drug something over it, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Or it was probably just slid across a table or pool. Uh, just someone oh, was... it hurts my heart. Someone was just inattentive, but it's Buster. It's a forever card. Yeah. And it's a beautiful card, as it, it says. It is really nice. It's going to look great in that uh, SGC tux, for Well, sure. I just like that it's got two different jersey colors and that. Yeah. Well, it's got three. Three colors. Well, that's bat, isn't it? I no. thought the middle was a bat. Oh, is it a bat? Yeah. Oh, you're right. It is a bat. Hey, look at that. Good call, Megatron. That's why you that's lead. That's why I have the eyes. That's why you lead the Decepticons. <laughs> and our last one is a PC card. Megatron made a lot of fun of me for getting this card. <laughs> so but funny. this is such an amazing card. This takes me back to my childhood, Saturday mornings, just some of the, the great stuff of the 80s. It's the... Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, yeah, brother. Intercontinental Champion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Macho Man. What'd you grade the Macho Man at? Uh, I said a nine. Oh, the Macho Man boos you. Boo that woman. Boo. <laughs> Boo that woman. Yeah. Macho Man's always a ten. And yeah. Ooh. What you gonna do? Okay, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Um, and this is a 2018, just to be clear. Yeah, it's a so reprint. It's, it is a reprint. Um, I, let's see, I saw... Oh, look, it says legend. Huh. Okay, anyway. All right. Well, then. Um, the front upper corner has a white dot. And there's deans or, like, uh, damage, scratches, whatever you want to call it, near, like, right at the center of the rope, just about right mm -hmm. near... Um, that I saw. And then anything on the back? Um, no, that was it. And then you were saying, what was your grade again? I said a nine. A nine. So SGC, just throw me a bone, put this in a 10. I'm not gonna sell it. This is a forever card. I just like to have it in 10 because Randy Savage is a legend and deserves a 10. Well, right, that's gonna be our submission that we'll be sending off, or we have sent off to SGC by the time you're seeing this. Hopefully when you see this, it'll our submission will be on the way back. And you know, since we got the Macho Man here, um, why don't you guys go ahead and comment down below, who is your favorite WWF wrestler? Not this WWE thing, WWF. Who is your favorite wrestler 
uh, Saturday morning, you watch them eating your cereal. And then in the afternoon, you were out with your friends doing all the WWF moves, trying not to break each other's bones. Well, you remember the cartoon, right? Oh, yeah. The uh, cartoon. I used to watch the cartoon all so, the time. So comment down below. Let me know who your favorite WWF wrestler is. If you needed help, our help to expand your PC, check us out. eBay, Hyena6, all lowercase, one word. Follow us on the gram, Hyena underscore six. You can check out some of our cards on mypost.com. Should be able to go down here-ish in this area, hover over our icon so you can subscribe, hit the like button, hit that bell to be notified when we put a post up, and share with a friend. And those of you who stuck around, appreciate you as always. God bless. Hyena6, out.